Where we fish in Alaska, there's just so many nutrients coming out of the Pacific Ocean up into the Bering Sea. The golden king crab are getting the best feed available. So from the start, when we catch it, all the way to the end, when you get it, there's no finer chain right there. That's the best in the world. This afternoon, we'll be departing Astoria and traveling across the Gulf of Alaska to Dutch Harbor uh, in preparation for the Golden King Crab season. So Golden King Crabs fish anywhere along the Aleutian chain, anywhere that is steep, rocky, volcanic, mountainous terrain. And these crab have adapted over who knows how many millions of years to live there. I mean, they're like mountain goats of the ocean. It's really deep and steep where the king crab are living, so it's really hard to catch. Golden king crab is found all the way from as shallow as 75 fathoms and as deep as 375. Well, those crab down there are getting the first shot at eating the food that comes in from the Pacific Ocean, and they get a lot of it. And in my opinion, the crab is a much sweeter, tastier crab simply because it's so deep in such cold water that's moving so fast. It's a different fishery in the way that we fish. We use uh, a long line system, uh, one long line with a bunch of pots connected on it. A long line has a lot more going on. It's more dangerous, but it's also a lot more efficient. We want the fishery to be sustainable. There's only five boats that are harvesting golden king crab, so we are able to be very selective in taking only the sets that have the highest number of males and keep off of the juveniles and the crab that there's really no benefit and that's dropping our pots on. There are no other crab harvests in the state of Alaska where there's such a close commitment from both the harvester and the department to work together. I have fished all over the world and our crab fishery is, I think, the finest managed fishery in the world.